In this video, we'll demonstrate the new structured packet communication in Visuino. As we have shown in previous videos, you can send analog, digital, integer and text information through the serial port. However, if you need to send multiple data types, you need to put them in some form of structured packet. We'll start by adding a packet component. Next, we'll open the packet elements editor and we'll add few different data types. We'll add two analog channels and one digital channel. As soon as we have our packet component placed on a form, in this drop-down format button for the communication, we have the component listed. If we select it, the scope will automatically pick the channels being added to the packet and in the instrumentation view we will have the corresponding instruments capable of displaying the data in the packet channel. I, now if I add another analog channel, another gauge immediately will appear and on the scope view analog channel will be added. If I add a digital channel it also will appear on the scope and the instrument packet. If I delete any of them, the views will correspondingly be updated. Now that we have our channels added, we can connect the packet to the serial. We can specify a unique header which we want to use. We can give any type of value. I would recommend something like 5555. This header will be used to find in the data stream the beginning of the packet. The header will be repeated twice and the communication ensures that uh, this content is not found inside the packet itself. If 5555 is found inside the data of the packet, it will be substituted with other encoding in order to avoid finding false packet headers. The packet also has a checksum which I would recommend keeping enabled. Now that we have our packet component, it's time to send some data to it. We'll add two sign generators. Connect them to the first two analog channels. We'll make the second to have a slightly different frequency. We'll add a pulse generator connected to the digital channel and for the and for the analog channel we'll connect it to analog put zero and we'll connect the digital input eleven to the digital channel. Our project is ready and now we can test it. We can send it to the Arduino IDE for compilation. Compile and upload it to the board. Now we can test the communication. Since I'm running in a virtual machine, 
the speed of the update for the controls is not that smooth but you can see that all of the gauges indicators and the scope are properly working and changing according to the data which arrives from the different channels including the external sensors that I have connected This concludes this brief demo of the new structured packet communication in Visuino. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.